How's it going, Blade Series? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to. So you can have an educated decision on your purchases. Just have an unboxing. Uh, so we'll have a knife in uh, from Big Red EDC. Uh, so he was able to get it uh, from uh, the Ocaso Knife Company. Uh, so Ocaso Knives, um, he used to be the CEO uh, for um, Cold Steel uh, before they got uh, sold off to um, one of the companies. Now I forgot the name of the company. It'll come to me. It was GSM Outdoors is who that got and, um, who purchased that from. Uh, so GSM Outdoors is kind of a conglomerate company. Uh, they picked up a few different companies. Uh, so um, they're in major box stores and everything else. This kind of little cool knife. Uh, I found one over in um, some type of thrift store and I just bought a new one. Uh, the Stanley. Uh, it's a 10-95. So I guess it's been around for like 30 plus years, but I mean it's a little... I think it's cool. So I'm gonna look into that one a little bit, but uh, this is the one uh, from Ocaso. Uh, so again, uh, he's the, uh, used to be the CEO uh, for Cold Steel for many years. So I do like the style that they have. Uh, I do like the um, overall appearance of their knives, even uh, for the pivot, as far as how they did that. So this is a, basically a large and a small. Uh, There's gonna be uh, for a Seaton knife, um, uh, for David Seaton. Uh, so this is now, at least I think this is who this is, and then this is some of his actual custom work uh, that is available on uh, Arizona Custom Knives. Uh, so that's, I believe, is the right person. Uh, if not, uh, do correct me, because uh, I was just learning about basically the company and uh, and everything that's going on with it. Uh, but trying to open up, oh, there we go. So the box opens up uh, just right at the tail there. Uh, so there's a small and a large. Uh, the larger one is probably one I'm more interested in just for the size. Because uh, the small one is going to be uh, pretty small from what I saw on specifications. Uh, but we'll, we'll see uh, what that looks like. Uh, but yeah, I like the packaging. I like the way that they present their logo, uh, which is like on the pivot. Uh, so as far as the Ocaso. So this, I believe, is the large. Which isn't going to be too large, but it is a gentleman's knife. Uh, so it is going to be on a smaller end of things. Then this is going to be the small guy. So definitely going to fit into that realm as far as that gentleman's knife. Yep, so there's the small and the large. And then comparison wise, uh, so this is a penguin. So most people know what a penguin is. And then so that's going to be uh, basically right in line with the penguin as far as the large variant. Uh, it's going to be about the same size as a regular size penguin. But just uh, when I saw the pictures of it, uh, just how everything kind of locked in and everything was just smooth, closed. Uh, I just really like the way it looks. Uh, so opening it up. So good there. Still very comfortable. And you got the grinds and everything. This one's Taiwan made. So both of them are made in Taiwan. I believe it's an OS 8 blade uh, for these guys, but I'll go over their website just to make sure uh, that that is correct uh, for the knife. Now, so this is going to be uh, David Seaton. Uh, so that's going to be uh, his knife uh, that we're looking at right now. Uh, so now this is going to be yeah the mini and the large, uh, but still uh, very uh, well locked in. Uh, so it has kind of a place for your pinky right here. Uh, so still uh, feels like a very good uh, cutting knife still. And then uh, you still have that that logo, uh, which is right there for the Ocaso. So I think it's done well for that. Uh, it doesn't say anything about no, the steel on it that I see, but I'll update that if I see it. But uh, this is going to be more just kind of an initial uh, unboxing uh, type of thing for it uh, so we can get kind of an idea. Uh, but that's going to be the large variant or the mini variant. And then you're going to have the large. Large variant is going to be right there. So specifications here. So also OS 10 uh, for this one, 2.6 ounces. Um, wait, that's not right. So 2.35 for the mini. Sorry, so 2.75, 2.35. Uh, so I read the specifications wrong on it. So still, both of them actually should be uh, really uh, good for um, wherever you're gonna be at. So as long as you don't have any limitations on the locking side of things, uh, then you have a pretty good setup for either one. Both of them be under three inches uh, for the size of it, uh, stainless steel on both of them. And then you've had the bead blasted or the black PVD coating. So yeah, detent's good on it. So it doesn't have any movement on it. Yeah, good lockup. If you can see, oh, there you go. 
that's a good lockup on it. So no, more of a right hand, um, right hand dominant type of thing because you do have the groove here with the th thumb stud. So even if you can move that over, which you might not be able to because it might not be uh, seated properly, uh, then you do not have that groove there. So it might be able to be adjusted for that, but uh, it is going to be, seems like it's going to be more of a right hand uh, knife. But definitely both of them have a good feel to it, good weight. Um, for it as well, uh, and that's where, and you're just going to be dropping it in your pocket, so it's going to be definitely going back to those things where you're going to just take it with you, kind of harken back to uh, some of the older knives, just drop it in your pocket, um, and then just have it available when you need it. Uh, so I'm liking it so far as far as the way it looks, and then I'll look at it a little bit more. Let me know if you have any questions about it as far as more things you want to know about the knife itself, and then uh, we'll go from there. But that is about all I have to say about that one today. And check out the Orion knives. We still have some models available for the Cetus. Uh, so check that out. I pick it up and we'll ship it out direct to you.